Let's move to action in the primary market. Now, Bangalore-based microfinance services company Ujjivan Financial Services will tap the primary markets today. It's the second small finance bank licensee to initiate an IPO. Joining us now is Sudha Suresh, CFO of Ujjivan Financial Services. Thanks very much, uh, ma'am, for joining in today. Uh, take us through wh where the funds uh, from this will be really be deployed and w your outlook for the company post-IPO. Uh, thank you. Uh what we are looking at is this primarily the IPOs uh, will be used for augmenting our capital base and that will uh, augment the growth in the coming four to five years. Uh, you, uh, geographically, where uh, do you have a presence and any expansion plans as well coming up? So Ujivan is today the most uh, geographically diversified microfinance institution in the country. We are spread across 24 states, 470 branches and to add 209 districts. We would plan to continue to, to expand further in typically rural unbanked areas uh, as we move towards the SFB regime. Right. Uh, you've, uh, of course, been one of the pioneers when it comes to microfinance in India and you have a large uh, rural breakup. But if you, I could just uh, get your uh, credit book breakup between rural, semi-urban and urban areas and uh, any changes that you could see into this model as you transition into a small finance bank? Uh, so, Ujivan actually started uh, as an urban microfinance and typically our presence is spread across urban, semi-urban and so we don't have a large rural presence. However, in terms of the geographical uh, uh, dispersion of our customers, we almost have about 27 to 30 percent of our customers coming from the rural base and the balance essentially in the semi-urban and the urban. Going forward, we look at expanding. Uh, mostly in the rural unbanked areas and we would like to expand uh, typically in these areas as we service as a small finance bank. Right. Uh, just taking that point forward, as you said, you're moving to a small finance bank. What are the kind of hurdles that you think you would face uh, in this transition? So what we look at as a couple of big challenges is building on our liability franchise. We are extremely good on the asset size because we have an excellent track record of both growth and profitability. Today we have an AUM of 4,600 crores and we have more than 28 lakh customers across these 470 branches. We look to expanding in terms of building our liability side also and providing services to the customers essentially with the core operations of being easy access, hassle-free service and courteous service. We also look at the fact that initially we will be realigning our uh, funding strategy as also building on the liability strategy to expand not only to our customer base which is existing but also to build it on potentially new customer bases including those who are saving typically in the informal sector today. What's the uh, average ticket size for your loans? So our average ticket size for the group lending is about 23,000 and in terms of our uh, micro SME lending or individual lending, business lending as we call, that is roughly about 65,000 for loans which are given typically between rupees 50,000 to 2 lakhs. Okay. Uh, Ma'am, group loans form about 88% of your uh, gross uh, total gross AUMs for the nine months ended December 2015. So while individual loans form the rest, where are you really looking to increase focus in terms of individual loans? Yeah, so what we are looking at is a greater focus to be built over the next few years in terms of our individual business lending or as we call it the micro enterprise lending. So typically we would expand uh, this portfolio amongst the salaried workers, among the tenant and marginal farmers. We would expand on our agricultural loans and increasingly on the micro enterprise lending which is spread across various verticals. We are also looking at expanding on the housing side and uh, this business of course would be largely secured. So between the individual micro SME lending as well as the housing we would be significantly increasing our portfolio in the coming years. Sudha Suresh, thank you for joining us this afternoon. That's the latest IPO on the street, Ujjivan Financial Services, the second of the small finance bank licensees to tap the markets. 880 crore issue. Most brokerages gung-ho on this one and have in fact uh, given a subscribe rating to this IPO.
We'll take a break at this point. Up ahead, HCL Tech misses the uh, third quarter estimates on earnings front. Management commentary on the other side.